Hey what's up everyone, it's your friend 23 here, and welcome back to a new episode of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Last time we finished this shrine, after we have done some of the main... We did one main quest, part of a main quest at, at least, um, last episode, it was this one. When we looked out those geoglyphs uh, and found a memory of how like the first second Zelda woke up uh, back in time. So today, I'm gonna keep exploring and also keep o going on this quest line. First of all, we should start fighting this big dude he right here. Because I feel like, why not? Let's wake him up with... ...some bomb to his face. And he has some extra damage. That's a nice little headshot. Quickly run up to him. See if we can get some hits in. Oh damn. He recovered. Where are you? Why are you looking the wrong way around? I'm on this side, dude. Here I am. Do you see me now? Mr. Big Guy? Oh, you're... It's, it's too wide. I need the eye. I need the aimbot. <laughs> Do I have any eyes? I have. Let's take this one. That's perfect. That's a bit cheesy, but I don't care. Wow. That should be enough. Enoch's horn, a horn wrapped in spiked wood, attack shit to a weapon to increase attack power. Nice, nice, nice. A tooth. Some palm fruits. Uh, some apples. Do we want a soldier's bow? Like this is useful. Yeah, useless. Oh. Let's take the soldier bow. And also. We don't want the big bow attached out right now. This one is also breaking soon, so let's just throw it away. Or Traveler's Sword instead. Enoch's Toenail. As tough as plate armor, this item increases an arrow's attack power when attached to it. I wonder if we can attach that to a shield to make it more durable, or at least... Powerful. <laughs> nice to have a toenail on your... Oh. On your uh, shield. I guess. That raises the attack power. I'm not sure. Let's just have it on there. And now... We're going down the ravine. Or lavine, or what's it called. Button. Yeah. 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 You're scared. Oh, I rem This looks a bit familiar from last game, actually. I think you were here that time as well. Forgotten Temple. And we'll... Let's read the quest. Uh, you found one of the mysterious dragon tears within a geoglyph and received a vision about Princess Zelda by investigating it. Impa thinks that the myster mystery of geoglyphs might be connected to some something inside the Forgotten Temple. It's located somewhere... Okay. So we, we're gonna go inside here, so we need to find an entrance somehow. I don't think we can ex explode this thing. Before we try exploding it, I just want to see if we have some entrance on the side here. No. I don't think that's a viable thing to, to blow up, but let's try it. Yeah. I stand correct. I guess we're going down. Yeah, see here is the entrance. 
And here is also Kado, Lady Impa. Oh, Link, I'm so pleased that you come here as well. To be honest, Lady Impa deduced, deduced that there's something related to the geoglyphs here. It took some effort for us to get up here, but we managed it. But then Lady Impa grew impatient. And the moment I took my eyes off her, she went deep into the temple all by herself. Once I finish mooning this, <laughs> not mooning, more, mo mooring this balloon, I plan to hurry after her. <laughs> Updated. Um, you saw Karu at the entrance of the Forgotten Temple. He said that he come here with Impa to find something inside that connected the geoglyphs. She apparently gone deeper into the temple. See what you can discover in the this mysterious place. And also, I have this one, I need to start taking picture on things, so we can also collect this here on the Hyrule Compendium, so we have everything collected. That would be such a nice thing to have in the end of the game. And <laughs> this is a weird, bad picture for the bow. Um, it doesn't look like I can delete it. Maybe if I delete here. Is it gone here then? No. But I think I can update it if I take a new picture on that thing. While our memory is good, let's do some pictures. Save. Nice. That's a good bow as well. Uh, we wanna drop Is this one, because it's breaking. Breaking any second. Oh my god. Wrong. There we go. And also, should we take a picture on an arrow? it is that's weird but let's take a picture it describes an arrow perfectly and a wild berry why not is this a good angle sure. for now it's a good angle and also this bow why not Help us get here. And this is gonna be a picture taking episode. And I think I'm gonna take the sturdy thick stick over something else I have on me. Over that, for example. Those two we have picture on. And why not take a... You go get out of the way. I guess that's a decent picture, not the best, bo best not the most good looking. Ah, uh, I do it like this maybe. It's just me being a perf perfectionist again. 
Can we get? Okay, we needed that to be in there. Because if I do like this, can I update the picture now? Yeah, that's a better picture. Nice. Uh, and also, I guess you have to... Okay, you can select multiple. That's a good little feature, because I don't want this picture saved. <laughs> and then delete. Yes. Okay, now maybe we can keep going forward for a bit. It's also, do I want to jump down now, or do I want to jump down? There is a shrine. Just like it can be some loot underneath me as well. Oh, it's even enemies here. Let's just try to sneak. That didn't go well. That's a bad picture. Dude. You have to smile for the picture. Okay. We only need one. Ah, I thought I died. I was like, damn. <laughs> That's a great picture. You see the blue guy? Oh, that's bad. It's not in frame. There you go. Nice. Now you two can die. It's actually a quite okay picture for this world. Hmm. Is that something we want? Not really. And also, is this... No, that's not something else. But that nut we want to take a picture on. Is that a dragon one? Yeah, so those are good. And those... And me and buttons aren't always the best friends. Here. We drop this. Take this. Take a quick little picture on, on this bow. Make it a bit more uh, good looking. I never thought that about that you... Of course you can lift these things up as well. Oh. I'm... I want it to stand here. It's good enough. Nice. And a rock hammer is always nice to have an extra. So. Yes, we drop that. And also, is this something? No. <laughs> In the future, I will try to take a lot of these photos outside of the episode. If you don't want to see this. You can leave a comment stating if it's fine for me to take photos or if you prefer me doing it outside of the videos. <laughs> It can be quite slow. At least in this beginning, when I need photos on everything. Here I probably want to fight from afar before we build a bridge. Yes, get some extra damage out. Oh my god, that's bad. <laughs> it looks so much more near than it is. Will probably hit me. No, nice. 
I don't even need to build a bridge now that I think about it. I can just do it like that. This weapon doesn't get any treatment with like being placed nicely. It's just a wooden stick. Ooh, a shield can take a picture on as well. That's a bad shield, so this can just be there. Also, can we get this horn without having the other thing visible? Close enough. You like this? Take a photo. Nothing, okay. A shield. Nice picture. Mm, I want to retake that picture. I can stand on, on this one instead. So I get some distance from it. That's better. Take it. Twenty five, damn. Uh, drop that. Now we have to ascend. Climb here, we can. Let's refresh the stamina. We can quickly jump up instead of climbing. Just looking around if I find anything. There is Impa. Before we talk to her, we just do the shrine quickly. Hopefully, quickly at least. Building blocks. I got them building blocks. Okay, quickly here. Assess the situation. Door is closed, we have blocks, and we have something here. And are... Oh, are these... Like, already... Those? Okay, it's these ones I'm gonna... Move. Okay, we should match this one, that's the thing. That's the completed one, and this is the one we're gonna... Match up. So one here. And then we have one there. Boom. Rusty broadsword, broadsword, broad broadsword. <laughs> Let's say that word. 
try to get only the sword in frame. Nice. And also... That's an okay picture. Should have taken a pic picture of that money. Those cannot break. Uh, 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 oh, uh, yeah, actually, or not. <laughs> I wanna use this. Probably gonna use it for something. I'm not sure, quite sure yet, though. Here we. Sh so why are these? Like indestructible. Are both of these made of that material? Can I hit them? I'm not sure what purpose they are killing, to be honest. Maybe it was weapon for that dude, that like he can merge with his swords and everything. Okay, here we should do this quick little staircase, just for my... ...chest. Do it like that, and then we use... ...this one above, somehow. Maybe if we can stick it just a bit to the side here. Then I think we can climb, and then we can climb, yeah. Large Shongnai Shark. Okay. okay. Before we start building, we just need to assess the pieces and the, the done... So is it? It's a cube, three by three, all the way around. I would imagine. Yeah, yeah. And we have three on the bottom. Move this so we don't get confused. We have three by three by three. So the bottom is already done. This feels like some type of corner piece, either a corner piece like this, maybe not, but I just wanna try everything because then I will see if, if something is right or if everything is wrong in my thinking here. Uh, 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 I guess that's not good enough, no 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 no, so let's move this for now. Let's start with this and this piece right here. Oh. Great that I see. <laughs> now we're back at where we were before. I guess. This will not work. It will not. If we just move that one, maybe... Oh my god. Can my brain stop... Messing up the rotate, please? I guess this one is... that really feels like it should be there, but it shouldn't, I guess. You have to be able to think newly if your plan doesn't work. I guess this is... yeah, this... This is correct. Nice. 
Took some minutes to figure it out, but we got it in the end. Boom. We're up to five already, nice. Could it be? Oh, Link, thank you again for your help with the balloon. I believe there's something related to the geoglyph somewhere within the temple. I'm searching, but so far it has been a been in vain. The chamber, the chambers here are er enormous, so it will be difficult, be a difficult task at best. Where could it be? You tell me. I'm not even sure what you're looking for, dude. Okay. Let's just keep ascending into these ruins. First, these shrooms look tasty. Boom boom. I just wanna have a quick look. Look it. Those are gonna be hard to, to photograph. If you're not careful. What is this? Nothing we won't want right now, but good to take a picture of. This looks like a stick. Damn, that's a big uh, praying statue. The goddess statue has been toppled. Thank you for that information. <laughs> Is it something we can ascend on? No. But it probably we can climb up on it. Because here it could be something in the top. If we... Can be worth just checking out quickly here. Nothing and nothing up there. I guess no. Ah, this looks like the door up in the in the tutorial island. Oh, this feels like it's gonna be a big puzzle coming up now. What is this type of bloom? And here's some other blooms or flowers. That's an okay picture. I'm not sure what to do, man. I'm just gonna keep going in here. One door, two doors. Some type of map. Are these the hieroglyphs? Yeah, it is. Cause see. That was the first hieroglyph we did. So we should take a photo on this map and a photo that, like, we don't delete. <laughs> ah. ah, this place. Ooh. Lady Impa, let's head down. We must investigate up close. Oh. There, up on the walls. Are those not geoglyphs? Hmm, what could this mean? I believe the one we saw first was the geoglyph on the left edge of the wall. That's correct. As for the next painting, is this this place? According to the floor map, it's near Rito village. It seems the locations of the other geoglyphs from the wall are marked on the floor map as well. I can hardly believe what my eyes behold. Who could have guessed that this old ruin still held such secrets? It is said that the geoglyphs appeared all over Hyrule during the upheaval when Princess Zelda went missing. Hmm, how are they connected to these images here? There's no time to dawdle. Uh, let's hurry up and investigate the remaining geoglyphs. Oh, Lady Impa. Perhaps you should rest a bit before such a trying journey. 
Think, if you happen to see a geoglyph during your travels, I urge you to investigate it this matter, this matter as well. If more strange vision are waiting at the other geoglyphs, just like this one, uh, just like the one you already experienced, well, perhaps they will provide clues that could lead us to Princess Zelda. Perhaps they do. And they will. And I guess, is this like the order you should take them on the wall? To get the story in the correct order? So let me just climb up here again. By ice. And with climbing I mean ascend. So we're gonna take a picture on the map layout and also on the wall so we know the order to do everything in. Yes, that's a good enough picture. Makes me a little bit irritated that I see them in the bottom, so I'm gonna try to get them out of it. Yeah, that's good enough. And also... Let's just clean up something here. This is some of the pictures that we don't wanna save. And delete. So we have that one up at the top. And then I guess this one... If we just take them like in order, then we have the order... That's a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> That I don't... Is it some type of enemy? It looks like a, maybe a crocodile if that's the eyes and a tongue. <laughs> the body and the tail. This is also some weird creature. That's a lady creature. Looks like at least. This is a, some type of scimitar. And that's a scary monster. With devil horns. And this is the nine from the beginning and from after the boss fight and everything. And this looks like, I don't know, I'm not sure, maybe a grave. <laughs> and that is uh, the master sword. And then we're done. Okay, so what does the quest says now? Inside the Forgotten Temple is a map of Hyrule and 11 murals related to the geoglyphs. It seems that these geoglyphs appeared in various places after the upheaval when Princess Zelda went missing. Find the other 10. Let us investigate the other 10. Okay, so now we're like out of quests again for the time being. We should ex keep exploring inside here because I guess something else must be in here. Or is those uh, doors we saw up here, is it only... I don't need to climb? Is it only like a staircase down to that? Yeah, I think so. That's a bit uneventful, because I, I thought this would be a big ruin with a lot of puzzles and everything. All we got was one shrine and... Sure, that's a big piece to get information on, but still though. So let's just ascend then, I guess. Don't have to. Or not. This thing's... This thing is tripping me out though. But I guess maybe for each glyph you do, something will happen. That must be the thing. And then it will activate after you have reached all the glyphs. I'm not sure. Something weird at least. So let's just put a... Like this is a point of interest in the game. Uh, point of interest star. Makes sense in my head. Of course, who else but this dude is always at the most 
scuffed places. Let's just help him quickly. Let's see how his sign is this time. Here for you, even wet. Yeah. Place it there. And then, if we attach this one. I wonder if that's enough. Let's make it. Let's make a try here. Didn't work. Oh yeah, you see, that's really pointy. Uh, 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 okay. I need to really headshot this dude as well. So let me... Aimbot it. Yeah, he packs meat. Raw gourmet meat, that's... That's some nice meat, dude. Should also go and talk to the bird over there. Was it even a bird? No. Oh, he's gonna leave, so talk to him before he leaves now. Dude, 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 dude. What do you want? This is interesting. Hmm, there's something uh, to that little island, but what? What little island? Hmm, 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 hmm. What, what? I'm not even sure what island you're talking about, dude. If we attach... <laughs> this looks more and more scuffed for each thing I attach to it. But I guess that should be more secure at least. And then maybe we do it like this. That should hold it, right? Maybe not because that part isn't attached, the right part there. Ah! <laughs> uh, not, not as good. <laughs> Let me ask. <laughs> Boom. Thing is, it will still fall over now. So, one more of these. I think I over engineered this a little bit. <laughs> but better to over engineer than under engineer, maybe. Uh, I guess we try. Is that enough? 
Yeah. <laughs> it was a really ugly building, but it worked. Let us let's get our is it money, food, and a special item. Money? Food? That's some good meaty rice ball. And uh, oh. bombies, bombies Whoa. flower. Thank you. And with that, you're off. And with that, I'm also off. Let's take this ugly building and just. Let it be like that, I guess. My horse is not with me. That's not the best. Wow. This looks like... Uh, inside of the temple still so is the temple deeper than we went you guys are jumping down here and just see if it's an entrance on the uh, other side here that could be quite interesting to figure out. See any entrances from the roof? That's perfect amount of stamina. <laughs> or is this just the? Yeah, this is the beginning. Yeah, because our horse is over there. That was a bit unnecessary then, but I see a thing on top of that platform over there. So let's just. Try to reach it. That's a Karoko seed. Oh. That's not the smartest. We were lucky that we didn't fall down. Because <laughs> that was really close. Okay. God. And the last one. Was it one more? Yeah. Was it one more even? Yeah. yeah. 23! Yay! It's the same as my YouTube name, man. That's crazy. I feel like something of value of exploring should be in this ruin more. There is just a luff, uh, luff air balloon. Oh well, we're not gonna get smarter on just going in this thingy. So what should we do here here next? I'm not really sure. We don't have any quests, so let's go to landing, look out landing sky view, and talk to one of the professors and see if we can get some guidance on where it's a good time, good place to go next. That's something new. This is lucky me. Very interesting treasure. You heard quiet. Yeah. 
like your pink beard, dude. Looks great. It matches your feather really nicely. <laughs> uh, ah, Link, you come just in time. Have a look at this. Hmm. The stone tablet that fell from the sky is inscribed with ancient Hyrule. If I can manage to translate it, the text, it might be a key to understanding a moment in time from ancient Hyrule. Oh. I can translate this from ancient Hyrulean, but my notes are back at the research lab at Kakariko village. So I'll be heading there to check this text against my notes and proceed with the translation. I've already copied down what they inscribed here, so I'll be so I'll be getting back to the village. If that piques your interest, Link, you can, should come to the Ka Kakariko village so I can share what I've translated so far. Ah. This inscription has tremendous archaeological value. It's a bridge connecting us to the distant past. I aim to unravel its mysteries and the sooner I get started, the better. That's true, dude. Translate that for me, please. It's etched with ancient Hyrulean text. I cannot read it. And if it fell from the sky, I was like, can I rewind it up? I cannot. Do I need to talk to you as well? Ah. Are you interested in the stone tablet too? The letter carved in it, the letters, the letters carved in on it are ancient Hyrulean. The only person who can dec decipher it is the guy named Worthworth. I already talked to him. Truth is, I wanted to go with him. It would have been a great opportunity to learn a, a ancient Hyrulean myself. Karuka ah. village, it's a Seca village southeast of here. Uh, when the upheaval happened, some big ring-shaped Sonia's runes <laughs> fell there. Right now, it's the hottest investigation spot for Sonia's survey team. I bet if you got a high enough vantage point, you would probably be able to see those ruins from lookout landing. Ah. Anyway, I've been told to spend my time with the thing to see if there's any other discoveries to be made. So I guess I should focus on the task at hand. You're gonna also talk about Kakariko village and southeast, you said, so here somewhere maybe? Ah, look at who it is. It's my good friend. Shaka, Hestu. It's you, we meet again. It's been a while, huh? So this place was built recently, huh? It's a good vibe and I figure it's safe since there are a lot of people here. There are so many monsters all over these days, so I'm gonna stay here and relax for a while. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on for a minute. Do you have Kuroko seeds? I got 23 of them, dude. I'm not sure if I want to give them now when I have 23, right? If you give me Kuroko seed, I'll expand. Yeah, I love it. Uh, weapons. We need more weapon stash. Oh, you've gone up in price. Two Kuroko seed this time. Let the expansion begin. We can skip this. It's just some silly dance. <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. And I guess we want... But we never run out of shields. That's the thing. Or we haven't. Let's do one more weapon stash. Three now. Damn, you're, you're driving a hard bargain. Let the um, blah 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 begin. Nice. Can I do it once again or are you gonna leave me now again as you did for last time? Expand the band, the band, weapon stash, shakalaka. I still smell crocus. Oh, then we can actually do one of the shields. Can, can I do it even more? Why not? Let's just keep expanding until we run out of Kuroko Seeds then, or until he says no more. Do one more weapon, because they are expensive now. Then one shield. Maybe two bows, if we have enough Kuroko seeds. Yeah. 
I think we will be able to do two more bows and one more shield after this. This is nice. This is gonna give us so much more uh, things to do, I guess. I'm not sure what I'm gonna say there. Uh, five. Yeah, then the shield will cost two. Nice. That was actually perfect. Perfect amount of Karoko seeds. Nice! Now we're out of Karoko seeds. Oh, we should ask him. If you find Karoko and bring them to me, I'll, in return I expand the size. Okay. I was like, is he gonna travel somewhere else now? Uh, so we got two extra slots for the shields. Three extra slots for our weapons and three extra for our bows. So this is this is nice. Have you updated your wardrobe here? What is this? Snow kill tunic. Don't need it. <laughs> but I want it because I want every piece of armor in the game. Some rice is always good and some arrows is always good. That's expensive for apples. And also, here looks like it can be some type of quest starting. Just they are not usually here. Hello, dudes. Um. You're a Goron. You should know the way to Goron City. How in the name of Hylia did you forget? Mm. Lay off. I'm a bird enough as it is. Besides, it's not that I forgot. When I left the city, there was still lava everywhere. I didn't know Death Mountain would stop erupting, the lava would cool and new roads would form. Mm. You don't have to tell me there was lava everywhere. It used to be so hot that Hylians couldn't even step a foot on the mountain without fire-resistant gear. Even if I wanted to take a trip that way, I couldn't. <laughs> well, thanks to this guy, now you can. First, we have... To walk down the road towards Death Mountain, which you can see over in the northeast. Then we will arrive at Woodland Stamble, Stable, and from there we keep going north. Thanks again for the directions, fella. Oh. Happy to be of service. Using Death Mountains as a landmark is all well and good, of course. But the red haze around the summit looks worryingly like gloom. Try not to get too close. Oh. Alright, let's get going then. Might as well get out of this rain. And on our way, we'll stop by that bistro place you keep uh, keep mentioning. Now we're talking. Is it a bistro or a restaurant somewhere? <laughs> I wanna see that place. And also here is people. I think this is where the game wants me to go next. Oh damn. <laughs> that hair and mustache doesn't uh, bring out the best look in you. You look like a certain uh, person from way back in time. <laughs> Are you here because you saw the call for application in the newspaper? You better make sure to you're prepared. Ugh. So far, every single apl applicant has been turned down, including yours truly. Dude, it's your look that made them turn, turn down. If anyone out there would win the favor of the brilliant young mind that's running the project, I'd really like to meet them. Sorry, Taro, just give me a chance. This dude looks... Cool. I like his hair. Uh, I'm sorry, Taro, you're not the right one for this job. Aww. Come on, don't say that. You got to let me cast my line into the depths too. I'm capable of description some sewing I script. Who else can tackle that stuff? I mean, your skill would be super helpful to me. You're the one in charge of the Sony I survey team after all. So that's the... The Sony I leader then. Uh, but aren't you heading up to the ring ruins investigating Kakariko village anyways, Taro? That's where your focus should be. Those fallen ruins are huge and exciting, big enough to see from lookout landing. I feel like the game is nudging me to Kakariko village. <laughs> That's the second person on this like few minutes we've been in this town telling me that people are going there or that I should go there. So please finish your work there before asking to join in new research. But... 
But to read first hand Sonia history, that bait's too juicy to pass up on. Tauro, Sonia survey team leader with the cool hair. Ah, Swordsman. Oh, someone else is here for the job already. So I, I guess it's a lost cause. I'll head back to Kakariko village and just stare up at those ring ruins. Damn. You'd rather short straw in, in this conversation. Tauro is an amazing person and he's a first rate archaeologist too. But he loves Sonia research so much that he'll bolt from the project to chase any new discoveries. Oh. I've been looking for someone to help with the investigation of the depths. I mean, you'd be the best for the job. Oh. I'll help any day of the week. Thank you, having you help out is such a relief. We'll explain all the details to you, come with me. Nice, a new main quest that we should embark on. Ah, ah what a fine afternoon. The Pura Pad will prove absolutely... Are you gonna say everything that you have? Yeah, you have already said all this, so I, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to Joshua, and then we can go down to the depths, I guess. Oh, here we can pray, so let's do that. <laughs> I'm one who returned Poe's to the afterlife where they belong. Oh, the Poe's. What do they do? So, offer Poe to me, they are spirits that ought to return to the afterlife. What is Poe's? Poe's are pitiful beings who have lost their way home and wandered the depths of this land. Good, evil, that's the futile perspective of narrow-minded beings. There is no such distinction in wandering spirits. You already have obtained Poe's. Okay, here is Poe's for you then. Oh, that's indeed a Poe. I have returned the lost spirit to the afterlife where it belongs. Since I was brought here to the surface, I have been unable to return Poe's to the afterlife. Because of you, I can assist them once again. You should take this. Dark clump, an unusual substance. It's cold to the touch and it seems as though it's filled with pitch black darkness. Use it in a cooking to get a gloom resistant effect. Nice. If you offer me more Poe's, I will give you a suitable compensation. Ah, so it's basically a store. Oof. That's a nice outfit. I want that. Bomb flowers for 16. Okay, I will not buy anything more. I want to save up to that. Uh, if you encounter my brethren, try offering posts to them. Where are they? If you offer me 10 posts, I will tell you the location. Yeah, tell me. That's a good investi uh, investment. I acknowledge your offering. I will tell you of the location of one of my brethren in the depths of the land. Nice. Go to the location indicated on your map. Seek out wandering spirits for my brethren in the depths of this land. I will. And Joshua, should we talk a bit more? So remember that fragment I had? The one that showed a single mysterious figure? I found more fragments among the things our survey team brought back from the depths. And guess what? They fit together like puzzle pieces. Okay. Ta-da! Just look. That's a nice oh. little puzzle. Uh, feast your eyes upon this amazing mural. This scene shows that there, there's a whole series of statues down there, like the one you found for me last time. But what really caught my attention is the way they are oriented. Each figure is pointed toward the next one in the series. That's true. It's like um, it's like a maze. So I will probably follow those statues until I will get to some type of temple down there, maybe. That's my guess, at least. Until it ends with that last statue facing a final destination. A building that looks like a temple, yeah? Mm. Also see those large ears on the figure at the front of the building. That gotta be one of those so nice. Yeah, it looks like one so nice. Uh, and then there's... That strange hand symbol that seems to be responding to whatever the Sonai is doing. That's the hand symbol I'm using, I guess. So to, oh, so to collect my thoughts on all this, I'm pretty sure if you follow the gaze of each of those statues down there, you will reach that structure. I'm also betting that the temple-like building holds something of Sonai origin. I've heard that Sonia wielded mysterious powers, I wonder if this correlates to those powers. Of course, all of this is still just speculation on my part. So, that's where you come in, Swordsman. I I want you to find the temple structure the pictured on the mirror. In the, initially, I figure I could just go myself, so I gather a bunch of bright blooms and supplies. Aww. But they pulled the kid card on me and said I couldn't go into the depths. So, here. 
Thank you. You can have these too. Thank you, thank you, thank yeah. you. Bright blooms and arrows are perfect, I know. There's the added bonus of checking out the depths might provide us with clues to help find Zelda. So if all works out, maybe you'll snag some mysterious power for yourself and gain clues about Princess Zelda? Nothing but good things, right? Thanks for your help with this, Swordsman. Nice. But that quest will be for next episode. I'm sorry, I have to end it here. We have reached that one hour mark. If you have enjoyed this episode, please consider liking as always and also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the future episodes. Next episode is probably gonna be nice when we go down in the depths and do that quest. So this has been 23. I will see you in the next video as always. Bye bye.